for as long as I. How about this? If there's ever a, a, a figure team, how about like this? Is, um, about, I I'll bet pay you, you two hundred dollars. I bet I'll you that a. I bet you an ECU player. I bet you an ECU player has had a better pro career, bro season than any Clemson player. Out of here, who? Chris I, Johnson. Tom Brady. Chris Johnson. Okay. CJ two K, okay. bro. Uh, Two thousand rushing how yards, eight hundred receiving, bitch. Boom. How many other do y'all have? How many other do y'all? Come on. Oh, uh, David uh, Garrard, Jeff Blake, Ed Reed. Y'all had an Ed Reed. Did y'all have an Ed Reed? Oh yeah, I don't think so. CJ two K, bro. Two thousand yards how rushing, eight hundred receiving. One of the greatest fucking running back seasons in the history of football. What are we even talking about now? Oh, now we're doing ACU versus Clemson. Nah, because you want to, yeah, you try to draw, too, try to draw that here. Here's Let one more for you. you up, bro. Here's one more for you. Oh, my God. oh man, he had stuff prepared. Here's one no, more for did. you. He was just trying to fight. He said that two years ago. If any of you think Gardner Minshew are better than Trevor Lawrence, you're you're up a crack cocaine, dude. He I can't read Dr. Seuss, than, but he uh, can outrun I'm Cody. Tell what you're smoking, though. Hey, it's not hard to do that, though. How about this? I can run circles around your ass. Let's go. That's right, Soul Timer. Let's do a 40 time, <laughs> me and you, and see who wins. Yeah, I bet you it's me. You'll be out of breath before we get to the 20 yard line. What's up? I'm in the best shape of my adult life, bro. Get that card you mentioned bullshit off the screen. Let's hurry up and ice and pulls up. Now nah, we have one more thing. Uh, oh, a chemical is good. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, you should get iced up for that, mister. I want to make him a good. Yeah. How, about How many just... rapists does ECU have? Oh, oh my uh, God. Wow. We probably have a couple in our history wow. somewhere, yeah. man. Like, Every by the way, and you like know what? ECU has a history. Man, we got the hottest girls, bro. ECU sucks. How about you that? You don't know shit about this ECU, number one. fucking football takes. How about that? That's mm. how bad ECU sucks. Yeah. What's up? Mm. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck me too, bro. Um, oh, don't worry. I'm about to take you down. I got more you ain't for doing you. Shit. Shut got up. more for you. You ain't doing uh, shit. <laughs> more for you. I promise you. Best player. Our best player better than your best player. Boom. Did Ed Reed go to Clemson? Oh, 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 oh two of them. Man, obviously did. Ed Reed went to Clemson. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So That's did uh, who was the refrigerator? The 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 fridge for the. Oh, you don't know him. You don't know him. You don't say his name. Bettis? No, the big no, defensive the line. Perry, uh, refrigerator oh, Perry. Buzz, yeah, refrigerator bad. Perry also was a Clemson Tiger. Um, I mean, my team has a better player than both of any of y'all's teams ever had to. I don't even know who your team is. Who's that? Is. Julius Peppers, baby. Carolina. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Toast. But you know what? How about this? I went to my school, bitches. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do these ice up picks. I got a couple of them. Said, that's so sad. He said, "I tried." I tried. <laughs> and it, actually, I would have ended up being. I, I had the scores to get in. I just didn't think I could have. I would have. It would have been cheaper for me to go to Carolina than to go to the private school that I went. Yeah. To. Oh, totally. <laughs> like, best like, I, I uh, best so bargain stupid. in North Carolina. If you're, yeah, a, I was young and stupid and doing it by myself. You know, so too conservative too. All right, let's ice some of these pools up. Ice up, son. Ice up. I'm mad. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh, uh, you'll get happy. You'll get happy the same way you got mad. Why? Yeah. You gonna make fun of yourself, bitch? No. Damn. Oh, I know. I fe- oh, I'm like Joey well, coming after this. Ponytail. Um. Uh, um. You guys, by I the way, you, said you had five of them. Why don't you like hurry up? Or oh, something? you want me to go oh, first? Yeah. I didn't know you want me to go first. Yeah, okay. I, mine's an easy one. Me? Or whoever wants to go first, man. Gosh. All right. All right. So here. Oh, gosh. She, she has this dancing. one. Maybe he should Hold go on. first. What'd you uh, say? All right. Here's I my first she one. She dancing. Maybe he should go first. Oh, here's no, my I... first one. This is my first one right here. Don't play um, TikTok music. This is this uh, kid's... Uh, Halloween costume. Oh god! Oh, dude, how are people still doing this shit? All right, so he. 
<laughs> so this kid went as Michael so Jordan. Bro. Uh, this kid is went as Michael Jordan. <laughs> Dude, how? Oh my! God. And uh, so the oh ISO pick God. is clearly <laughs> to the parents. But the other thing is this: is like, have you ever seen? I've never seen blackface to this degree. Like, first of all, it's how do you even head. do it? You know what I'm saying? Like, is like, I'm too lazy to Dude. overdress for Halloween. But like, You're honestly, putting your child in danger. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh no, totally parents. I'm just saying this stupid. is like, uh, but this is over the top. And if you go so over the top, why didn't you go and do the hands in the neck too? Yeah, it's like I mean, if you're going that far, dude. Uh, so that's my first oh my ice up pick. I that told you, dude. dude, that shit is crazy, bro. Um, dude, holy see. shit! I was not prepared for that, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I, you didn't see that one. Uh, you see no. everything before no. I see it on the internet. No, I, I swear to God, I never saw that shit. I know, it's fucking oh, crazy, oh dude. God. Like, oh. all right, so here's another one. Uh, This dude's, it's, now I don't believe that. I, I, some of these I just don't believe on the internet. You know what I'm saying? This guy posted on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Yeah, Twitter. He said, uh, this dude stole my laptop and then sent me an email using my email. And it says, bro, how is it? I know I stole your laptop yesterday. I need the money as I have been struggling to make ends meet. I see you are busy with a research proposal. I've attached it. And if there are any other files that you need, please alert me before Monday at noon because I have found a customer. Oh, how nice. <laughs> uh, that one made me laugh. That one made me laugh. Do you see this right here? This lady who dressed up as Ann Campbell. Oh, I, I saw. Look at this. Like, this has got some layers to it. I don't Dan know if Campbell I like it or no D. Dan Campbell with no D. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. It's bro. good. It's good. It's bad. Mad, it's bad. People were, mad, people were like mad at this. I that's don't understand right. why people were mad at this. All right, here's my next one. I told you I had a bunch. We got a quarterback. Let's go. Can you hear that? Yeah. Okay. No, no. We got a quarterback. We ain't got a quarterback. This is not an ice up. We this got a quarterback. Feel sorry. Let's go. First place. First place. And then we lost. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Poor oh, guy. That and dude my... didn't deserve that. That dude didn't deserve what just happened. None of us deserved it, man. Oh, my my God. last que my last is a question, I guess. <clears throat> um and yeah, I think that's all of them. Uh, my last one was a question, and that is this. Have you seen? Um, I want to know. This is just something we got to follow later on. And uh, sorry, my ice up picks are just me and things I'm interested in. Uh, Brandon Cooks does not trade it today. And then he tweeted this out. Don't take a man's kindness for granted. Covered the lies for too long. Those days are done. Cross the line with playing with my career. Mm. So Nick Casario, he's telling the ice up. My ice up pick goes to that kid's parents for not going all the way through with it. Mm. If you're gonna go with it, you should have done the hands in the neck. Like, I mean, if you're gonna put your kid out there like that, you should have at least gave him a fighting chance. And what the hell did you use to do it? Like what Cold. kind of makeup do you even Cold, use? I, guess. I, I, know, I don't even know. Like, sorry. So that's oh, and my other ice up pick is Trevor Lawrence because he fucking sucks, dude. Oh my god, he's my terrible, dude. You because your takes fucking suck. How about you me? wanted to trade wrong. away an entire draft for oh, a guy who god, can't I'm throw two hundred and thirty yards. I'm icing people up. I'm icing up uh, uh, Tennessee players uh, who are going to headbutt their teammates. But forget that they're not wearing a helmet. <laughs> Broke his nose. Oh, he, poor guy. Did he break he, his nose? Chip his tooth. Like, oh, hey, look, you can tell you felt that <laughs> one. <dick. laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, it's like, oh, damn, bro. Man, but, you know, I've much... thought about that too. Oh, Dude, that's what I'm saying. I, I've thought about that. Like, I, if I was a football player, bro, I probably. At some point, would have done some dumb, some dumb mm -hmm. shit like that. 
Let your head butt never on the sideline. Someone comes up and just boom and just smack him in the head. Oh, well, dude. What's funny is that's a bad situation. If he, he'd have nosed it before and it stuck his hand up to block it, it would have broke his hand. So yeah, it's, bad it's better way, to break you know? your nose than yeah. your hand if you're a football player. What a dick. Ice up. Yeah. So ice up, son. Did you have another one? Nah. Okay, I thought I didn't know you said it. Uh, Pussy. Okay, you want to go? You want me to go? Uh, it doesn't okay, matter. Yeah. Okay, I was just going to throw mine up there real quick. So my boss the other day, we have, you know, safety briefings at work where they call everybody together and they have, they tell us the safety tips for the day and they go over things that have happened. And, you know, there's always some kind of little snippet he had. He had a little funny thing he was talking about inflation and how he'd gone to we have a brand new five guys in my town Ooh, and he's okay. talking about how he went to five mm. guys to go get lunch and he got two hot dogs 42 dollars later a bag of fries and a drink and it was 19 dollars. and i was like there is no oh that's five way. guys dude that's not inflation I, that's just five guys and that's and it must be because i told myself i was like there's no way it's that much so while we were on here just now i uh i went online that's true to see if this is actually true that's actually and, the cheapest five guys ticket I've ever heard of. And it's actually not even true because I got two hot dogs, a little fry, and a regular drink, and it's twenty thirty six. So it was higher than nineteen dollars. That's absolutely ridiculous. Five guys is not that good. Like I've been there the, before. The it's, burgers it's, it's are okay pretty food. good. I've never had a pretty like good. Pretty good, dude. You go we we, we go party. Out, we would go to Bank of America. And we always over party the night before we go to the game. We go to the epicenter and all this and get drunk and you go to like and we one two, one or two times you're dumb enough to go to five guys. Dude, it's like twenty two bucks, man. Yeah. And that is like that's hot dogs, dude. Man, you get yeah. a burger, bro. Dude. Yeah. And they're all right. I mean, they're good, but it's like a Cubby's burger and if you're from a highway fifty five, I don't know where you get what they got around y'all's joint. It ain't that good. No. And they used to they'd be like, Oh, we give you 72 pounds of french fries well why don't you just give me a regular amount of fries and not charge me 72 dollars <laughs> hey shake right. shack is the best fast food burger i hear nothing else. that's an eastern thing we don't know we, i don't know i don't good. know i've never had whataburger people like whataburger a lot um I mean, in and out burger those are all west coast things we don't got yeah. those we don't got those uh, you want the best cheap dude, option? How about this, you shit. want a you want the super cheap, good burger? I don't go there no more. My health, it's not good for your health. Ch uh, checkers. Never had a checkers. Oh yeah, yeah I grew up with checkers. Dude, man. that shit is good. Fries, it's just, dude, the fries, fries are awesome. You get like but used to like be able to get two thin. for five back in the day, bro. Two for five. Oh no, nah. um, best best fast food burger. Good question. Cookout, man. Cookout. I was gonna say cookout. Where else? Where else can you go and get a burger, a uh, corn dog? It's just and, cheap. And 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 it's just cheap. Right, but I don't think saying. it's good. It's, it's good and oh, it's delicious. cheap, but it's not. Dude, Shake Shack's burgers are like legit gourmet burgers. I don't think I've had they Shake Shack burgers. They are, they are. They are. They're awesome, dude. The next time you're on this in the house. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I was thinking about this the other day. Is uh, does yeah. Burger King, first of all, worst service in the world? Oh, Burger 100%. King. Um, but the Whopper is legit. Like sure. a Whopper is a legit sandwich for a fast food joint. It's rules I for mean, a month. There's... But what did they do to put that smell in there? The Burger King smell is attractive. Yeah. Well, it's I again. I think that they have a lot of mark similar to like the whole Matt McDonald's with their golden arches. Like the only reason that though they are the color that they are is because they did market research and found that that makes people hungry. That specific color. Right. Like, it's just little things like that that these people do. Anyway. The smell. They insert the smell into whatever they're doing, man. There's right. no way their food's that good that it smells that good. Every, no. By the way, with regard to service, um, I, I it's been going downhill tremendously for pretty much every establishment outside of Chick-fil-A, which now is starting to sound like a cult. Because Runs the world. They, <laughs> people say that Chick-fil-A should be like the government. They should, Dude, but it's, it's so good, though. Dude, they're yeah. so it's, good. No, they're it's the service, man. The it's food's so all right. Delicious. No, the, no, the, the food's food really, really good, good, but it's like a too limited of a menu. Well, it's the same well, thing for Chick fil A. I know I went there one time. That's what we just my, were my, talking about. My kids wanted me to get these chicken minis or something like that. And like, I got yeah. like three combos and it was like $48. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. But, yeah, dude, yeah, it only yeah. took you eight Dude. seconds. And they're like, my pleasure. They fucking clean your windshield. Yeah. The Chick Fil A by my house, the line to the drive-through is always packed. 
Like it's yeah. never not. I, the there's not a single one that I've been to that's not packed. Yeah, like, dude, if, they're no matter, right. they fucking print the money, dude. It doesn't they matter, matter what time well. of the day, which is why, like I sit there, all of the people there are way too happy to be working there. And that's why it's a fucking cult. Like I have never in my life. They just hire of, high school girls that are like in their <laughs> right. But is, is that not a cult? Like you, it's like it's like this, this it's like manager, Mormons run that this shit. Middle aged manager is like you know what we're gonna hire. Uh, young, I like their attractive style. Teenagers, and we're gonna have them gonna, always hey. say my pleasure, and then that's gonna go with them for the rest of their life, and all they're gonna think about is pleasure. Pleasure, pleasure. <laughs> like, 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 anyway. But but all right, I'll go to my my ice up here. Let's go yeah. to you. You know something else? No, we're no, heading to no, four hours. Say, so Chick, do Chick, uh, Chick Fil A is the easiest franchise to start and own, but it's also the least lucrative because, yeah. it, like in a normal franchise, you have to buy all the shit that goes inside of your restaurant, whereas Chick Fil A just provides it all for you. But they take so much more of the cut. They print money, year. bro. They don't. They print money. There's no. Their mugs make so much money. They, don't, they oh, make yeah. so much money. They closed on Sunday. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, okay, I'm done. So mine is uh. So I, a little background on me. Um. My wife and I have been married for a little over eleven years. Okay. Congratulations. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And uh, after about two years of marriage, we tried to. <laughs> we started to try to have our our first child. Um. It took like three years like and it was three miraculous years for me uh an emotional roller coaster for her great years for me um and uh and 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 so we had our son after a couple miscarriages and and even with him there were some complications so we were lucky to have him um but then we move you know obviously we're like son and done we're good we started to we said you know we've been easing up to the idea of having another one and as we already have talked about i have one on the way um and uh so we we thought about this for like we're like hey listen if we're gonna try we gotta try now we're getting to a point where it needs to happen um and so we're like all right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna try it for one month and if it happens it happens if it doesn't no worries one month and it happened and i'm sitting here thinking like I'm going to be able to do this another three years try to get like <laughs> constantly going like it's amazing right fuck no one month the good news is one it is a, pump it, jump it, it is a girl <laughs> it is a girl so we get the benefit of having a boy and a girl uh so i had my son he's now six years old my uh my daughter uh will be due in uh may 1st so probably around april or may um so it's a little while away but it's uh it's uh it's 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 something we're looking forward to but i'm i seen my 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 boys up because they they did not understand. They swim I too know. good. Yeah, yeah like they yeah. on the swim team. I <laughs> gotta did. take my son to swim practice at six a.m. tomorrow, and you your boys are on the fucking Michael Phelps regiment. I know, dude. <laughs> I can't. I just I I'm icing my guys up, man. That's all I'm saying. Uh, funny story about that is uh, when we were having uh, our first child, who is now he's fourteen, he's gonna be fifteen this year. Um, so I was young, and we just married not too long, you know, a year and a half or something like that. And uh, we're trying for the baby. And the first month, we didn't have the baby. And it turns out we are extremely fertile, too. So, like, that was kind of weird that we didn't think. So, we're fucking like rabbits. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, this lady at my wife's work was like, well, the problem is you're doing it too much. You got to let them reload. I was like, what's this lady's name? <laughs> <laughs> I got a problem with this girl. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what? Hi, what? First ice up ever. What's right her there? name? Yeah, that's my the first ice up that's ever. I was born. icing my balls up <laughs> and icing that bitch up at the same time. <laughs> to that All point, right. to, to Tony, I'll say this: so my there were some things going on with my wife early on in this pregnancy, and the doctor was telling her, "You guys got to abstain for a while." It was like two or three months, right? Uh, and I told my wife, I was like, "What's her doctor? Like, what's her yeah. name? And like, what's her license number?" We're getting her. Yeah, am, we're getting the shit we're revoked. Suing her, we're suing her for malpractice. Malpractice. She malpractice. Is not, <laughs> she, is, uh, she does not understand the the psychological torment yeah. she's created yeah. in this household. I know. Part of this is about me, baby. Part of this is about me, <laughs> right. Cody Lashley. This ain't about you, jerk ass motherfucker. What the fuck it is, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my name's Tony Dunn. C three Panthers podcast brought to you by CarolinaCatChronicles dot com, where we are the longest running Panthers podcast in the history of podcasts of Panthers podcast, and I'm literal about that. 
not only are we going, we are in our 10th year, never missing a Tuesday night. We got content all week, every week, every week. But look at this. It's fucking three hours and 41 minutes. My kid was at dinner tonight. He's like, Dad, how do you talk about this for three hours? I was like, oh, well, you know. And he jinxed us tonight. So we went 41 more minutes, 42 more minutes at this point. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, thanks, Michael Davis, patron saint. Thanks, Love man. you. All the new uh, today was All Saints Day. Super fans. Holy day. Yeah. Thank you. All the new super fans. Um, and also people who listen on the podcast, if you're still listening, good God, you are the coolest motherfuckers I've ever met. But uh, we switch podcasts, and one of the things they do now when we insert the ads is they do double ads. Let me know if I'm putting too many in. I try to do them every 30 minutes. It, just let me know. It's a new po- it's a new platform. I don't know like entirely how the listener experience is. If we need to reduce it, if you're like this is cumbersome, let me know. Uh, just let me know if and I want to I want to get some feedback. We're on Spotify, iTunes, all those places. Cody Lash, my arch rival and my brother. Yeah, man. Uh, you can find me at Cody Lash, C O D Y L A C. Uh, like on Twitter, as in life, I'm always talking shit, dude. And I have a great time doing it. He's a fool, and don't I know. But I am. I'm the prophet in this motherfucker. I bring the fire, and you are grateful for this fire that I bring. And uh, be on the look um some debate things in the work, because apparently Tony is not the only one that wants to come at me and tell me how dumb and uh, asinine my takes are. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, Friday free for all at seven. This Friday at seven, but you can join the show, be a part of the show. And uh, I'm still the Panthers analyst at drafttech.com. Check out all my content over there. Greg? Uh, check me out at the Bat Daddy 52 on Twitter is my personal handle, or check out my other show, Geeks Chasing Squirrels Across the Multiverse, live 9 p.m. Eastern. We got to get on this, guys. Fridays, right after the Friday free for all, jump mm-hmm. over. To Greg's podcast, look, all the things we love, House of the Dragon, uh, uh, Marvel stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm about some peripheral and some Jack uh, Ryan season three this week, too. Oh, now and you guys are bill- coming on this ooh, week. Oh, look, you're expanding. You on this week. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, CK, on the baby girl. I have two mm-hmm. girls. And look, I know that the son is number one for a lot of people. But wait until these little girls, they will wrap a dad around their finger. It's amazing. They care of. about you. The boys care about their moms. The girls love their dads. Yeah. I got two girls. Yeah, I, uh, I'm afraid girls. of the. Uh, I'm afraid of losing no out of the vocabulary. But uh, you know what you guys can do uh, to show me some love is just go and follow me on Twitter. Show some love over there. Um, check out the Madden simulation every Saturday night. We do that at 930, typically, unless there's some uh, extenuating circumstances. Obviously, Thursday night football coming up next week. We're going to have to figure out something different for that. Um, and uh, the Madden simulation was wrong this past week. Uh, mainly, it had De Niro hitting all those uh, uh, those uh, those kicks, and uh, that was the difference maker in the Madden sim and the real life. So that being said, uh, yeah, go uh, go check us out there. Mm, poor what I'm proud yeah. of uh, I'm proud of CK because I remember when we were trying to get CK to like a hundred followers on Twitter, dude. Now he's going viral when he puts out tweets. Mm-hmm. Let's go, baby. Uh, white chocolate. I think you're more my brother than you are my son at this point. But we are gonna keep up this bastard <laughs> son thing. And I love your profile pic, man. I would rock with you at a wedding. I think we would slay. Um, uh, that's it. Let's get out of here. Greg, I got to tell you something after the podcast about uh, shorts. All right. All right, C3 Panther Nation. We go four hours. Thank you, guys. Me, with me, school, and Tony's ass. And we did it again. He's a fool. Keep pounding. <laughs>